This is our planet, and for them, this is our home. It's our house, and our home has not been doing too well recently. Its average temperature is rising. My name is Alfonso, and today we're going to talk about something that I'm sure you have heard about before, the greenhouse effect. First, we need to know that thanks to the greenhouse effect, we have the climate to which mankind has been used to for thousands of years. And that thanks also to the carbon cycle, this greenhouse effect has maintained in an equilibrium. The problem is that this is changing, and that is not good. Let us first look at what the greenhouse effect is. There is the Earth, that is the atmosphere which surrounds it, and there is the Sun. The Sun emits solar rays which warm the surface of the Earth and generate heat. Heat tends to move away, but certain gases in the atmosphere prevent it from escaping and return some of this heat to the surface, making life on Earth, as we know it, possible. This is the greenhouse effect, and it is easy to understand how important it is for all of us. Excuse me? Yes, what is it? So why do they say that the greenhouse effect is a bad thing? I was just getting to that. Now, our atmosphere is composed of many different gases, but only these gases retain heat. Of this group, more than 70% of the heat is retained by carbon dioxide, or CO2. In other words, it is this gas which is the main contributor to the greenhouse effect. And so, what happens if we increase the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere? Mm. The atmosphere is going to retain more heat than before? Exactly. And that is what is causing the average temperature of our planet to rise. Since the time of the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, the amount of carbon dioxide has been increasing through the burning of fossil fuels like oil, coal and gas. In other words, because of factories, industries, transport and above all, the generating of energy. It is this increase in temperature that is responsible for rising sea levels and the greater frequency and intensity of drafts, flooding, storms, the disappearance of glaciers, etc. You mean the problem is that the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing? Basically, yes. And what can we do so that there will be less CO2 in the atmosphere? Ah, well for that we have an extraordinary ally. Look, the trees and plants in general. Through the process of photosynthesis they absorb carbon dioxide and then they return oxygen to the atmosphere. But if CO2, in other words, oxygen and carbon, go in and the oxygen is returned to the atmosphere, what happens to the carbon? Look, as a tree or plant grows, it forms new cells which are mostly composed of carbon. In other words, the tree extracts carbon from the atmosphere in order to grow and this carbon remains stored in itself. But what happens when the tree stops growing? That is a very good question. When the tree stops growing, its ability to extract carbon decreases because it is now hardly producing any new cells. From that moment, the tree or plant simply stores the carbon it absorbed during its growth. Afterwards, the carbon passes from the plants to all animals, including humans, and then it returns to the atmosphere, either through the breathing of living creatures or through aerobic decomposition. That is the carbon cycle, and it ensures that there is an adequate presence of CO2 in the atmosphere for us. Wow! I'm starting to understand now how important plants are, and especially trees. Of course. But there is a problem, and that is that our plants all over the world can no longer regulate alone the amount of carbon dioxide that we are producing. And so, it is important for us to be aware of the situation we are facing and to help our forests to fight against climate change. We need to plant a tree, use our bicycles more, recycle, use energy-saving light bulbs, turn off the light when we go out. As you can see, there are very simple ways in which we can help to reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. It is important for every one of us to be aware of the problem we are facing and find our own way to help, so that together we can build a better world where you can find love and room to breathe. Together, we can do it. Thank you.